TOPS Professional General Ledger View Accounts. This course will discuss the General Ledger View Accounts screen. We will go over how to look up GL accounts to view their activity, as well as how to drill into specific items on an account for more detail. To begin, we'll click on GL and then View Accounts. The GL View Accounts window is broken up into three sections. The top section includes your lookup and navigation along with your date ranges. The middle section is where your account detail will display. The bottom section displays all of your account totals. We have the ability to browse our chart of accounts by using the scroll arrows at the top of the page. You can also search for an account by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to the account field. From this window, you can scroll through your chart of accounts and then select the account you're looking for. Or you can search for an account. If you know how the account number begins, then you can begin typing it into the account number field. As you type, TOPS will restrict the list of accounts in the search results until the one you're looking for remains. Then just click OK, and the detail for that account is displayed. You can also search for an account by the account name. Again, as you type, TOPS will limit your search results to just those accounts who match the value entered. It is important to note that this is a starts with search, so TOPS will only return values that begin with what you've entered. Once you've found the account you're looking for, you can click on it to select it, and then click OK, and the detail for that account is displayed. If you know the account number, then you do not need to bring up the search to access that account. Just type it in the account number field and press the tab key. That will immediately bring up the detail for that account. Now let's switch to our operating cash account and take a look at some of the account detail. The default range of dates for the view account screen is the current period. You can easily change this by typing in a new range of dates. Note that as my date range changes, so do my totals at the bottom. Clicking the All Dates checkbox will display all dates during this fiscal year where there are transactions associated with this account. Clicking the Show Prior Year Balance checkbox will include dates from previous years, provided that you chose the Preserve GL Detail option when you closed those previous years. If a transaction has a plus sign next to the date, then you can drill into that transaction to view further details. Just double click on the date, and the details of that transaction are displayed. This is an owner payment transaction, so the detail of this transaction shows how the total batch amount of $3,750 was divided among the assessment receivable, prepaid assessments, and late fee income accounts. If we click the Detail View button on this window, then we can see each owner whose payment was included in that batch and the amount of their payment. Click Summary View, and we're brought back to that initial window. But you can drill down even further. Let's go back to that Detail View and double click on one of the owner accounts. That will bring up this owner's full accounts receivable history. Here you can see the check information and how their particular payment was distributed. Okay, now let's back out of here and take a look at an accounts payable transaction. To do so, we'll double click on the date for this particular check number 1112. The detail page for this transaction shows the expense distribution or how this check was coded to the general ledger. If you click the History button, then TOPS will display 
the full accounts payable history for this particular vendor. Now let's take a look at another side of these transactions. First, the cash receipt. For that transaction, let's take a look at the assessment's receivable account. If you remember, a portion of that receipt was applied against the assessment receivable account along with the prepaid owner account and late fee income. We'll select the January 6th transaction since that's the one that we've been viewing. And you can see that the detail shows the same information as it did when we pulled the information up from our operating cash account. This is because it is a complete transaction. No matter where you pull the detail of that transaction from, TOPS will display everything in the GL that is touched by that transaction. Since we're here, let's take a look at an AR charge item. This transaction is the application of recurring association fees to the owners within the community. Because we're on accrual accounting, we can see both our income and receivable transactions. Switching to the detailed view, we'll show all of the owners who were charged this recurring fee along with their individual charge amounts. Now let's take a look at the expense side for an accounts payable item. First, we'll need to look up our expense account. Then we can choose a transaction to view the detail. As you can see, this particular check, number 1113, paid two invoices. The first one was coded to our management fees account and the amount matches the amount on this expense account. The second invoice was coded to office supplies. Again, because the detail view shows you the complete transaction, we have the details of both on this view. Clicking the History button, will again bring up this vendor's full accounts payable history. Here we can see the details of both of those invoices along with the check that was cut to pay them. This completes our TOPS Professional General Ledger View Accounts course. Thank you.